Hi, my name is Austin, and welcome to today's CAM Tech Tip about creating a custom machine within SOLIDWORKS CAM and CAMWORKS. For many users, this is one of the first steps in customizing the CAMWORKS programming environment to match your real-world situation. The first thing you need to do is launch the technology database. The middle homepage will display all the machines you have available in the first column. In this case, it's all the default machines. One note, if your machine uses inches or metric units, this can be toggled by the button along the top. Next, select a machine you'd like to use the foundation for your new one and make a copy of it. You are now ready to start customizing by giving your machine a new name and ID. If you have a specific post processor you'd like to default to, select it from the drop down menu. Select the machine duty level you'd like to assign, which dictates how aggressive it'd be with machining strategies. From here, enter in the specific details for your machine. Just like the post processors, if your machine uses a specific default tool crib, you can select it from the drop-down menu. Getting the details correct, such as tool change time, will ensure your overall program time calculations are correct. Be sure to click the Save button to record your changes, and when you return to SOLIDWORKS, your new machine will be available. Choosing it from the list will automatically select the post and tool crib you indicated during setup. You can choose to create a new CAM machine for each type of machine in your facility, or each individual machine. For those of you with large complexes, there is no limit to the number of machines you can have in your CAM setup. I hope you've enjoyed today's CAM tech tip and look forward to more in the future. If you have any questions about SOLIDWORKS CAM or CAMWORKS, contact us at GSC. Thank you.